Podcast. Welcome back and a happy Monday. It's a great start to our work week as we are going to gradually dry out this week. So last week we did experience some moisture and we felt it, but this week we're going to have different changes, drier just like we like here in the desert. So this is what our total setup is across the region for today. So that lower pressure system moved far off to the north, bringing that extra moisture with it. But there's still some ongoing possibilities for some rain showers up to the north of Phoenix. But here in the desert southwest, we're going to continue to dry out this week and also staying warm. So not too bad for this week ahead. So we're staying clear and sunny, so not seeing any storm activity for us here in the desert southwest. That's all staying up to the north, so just how we like it. Nice and dry and sunny here in the desert southwest. Also, dew points are still a little bit higher than what we would like them to be in some areas. So we are seeing a few mid and low 40s out there, but we are going to continue to see um, those, temp those um, dew points continue to drop for the week. So we'll be a lot more drier this week, and also we are going to have our temperatures staying a little bit warm and then we will eventually see them cool down but first let's go ahead and take a look at this flood warning that is still in effect for the water releases at painted rock dam and it's in effect until next week so it's continuing to be extended even more due to the water level so right now near dateland we're seeing about a little bit over eight feet with the water levels and 22 near a dome just north of um, yuma so definitely keeping a look out for that but we do have that still in effect but in the meantime, for the rest of our evening for today, it's looking pretty enjoyable. So we'll see clear skies with us. Temperatures are going to continue to be on the warm side. So even as we go into our 6 o'clock hour, we'll still be in those upper 90s. And we'll see them cool off just slightly, but still being a little bit warm out there. Um, winds are going to stay fairly light, so not looking too bad. So really take full advantage of these nicer conditions once that sun goes down. And also looking out for some breezy conditions as we head into our Tuesday and Wednesday. So just the next couple of days, we do have that potential for gusts to be about 20 to even 25 miles per hour at times. So nothing too crazy with our winds, but we'll definitely be feeling those and staying breezy for the next couple of days. So just keep that in mind. But as we stay with these warm conditions, it might not be too bad as we have this light breeze with us. Now in our air quality index, sponsored by Imperial County Air Pollution Control District. Not looking too bad either, mainly moderate conditions, but not where we'd like it to be, but still not too bad. And also, too, make sure you send and submit your guesses on when you think Yuma or El Central hit the first 111th day of the year. So you can head over to our website at kymoney.com or download the app to submit your guess on when you think the day and time that Yuma or El Central will hit their first 111th day. So there's still plenty of time for that and you could get a nice prize sponsored by our sponsor, One Hour Air Conditioning and Heating. So get those over to us and we'd love to see what you think our first 111th day will be this year. Now in our eight day forecast, Breezy couple of days, lots of sunshine for the next several days, so looking pretty fantastic with our sky conditions. Temperatures will cool down a little bit as we go into the middle of this week, and for Memorial Day, we'll be pretty near average. So nothing too crazy with our temperatures, just staying warm and pretty much seasonable for the next several days. Well, that does for your eight-day forecast. Back to you, Jessica and Scott. Get those AC 